All right, guys. I thought I'd just show you that um, my Lassius Niger uh, moved out of the ant kit size two. Uh, they moved out. Uh, most of the workers and uh, eggs and pupa moved out in the first day or two. But then the queen and uh, let's say four or five workers and uh, some pupa took uh, probably about a week to move out. But then once it all dried up, I didn't water it, and I kept on watering this uh, ant Australia size one. And as you can see. They're all in there, and I'll try to use this magnifying glass, even have a light on it. Try looking through that. See how it looks really good, actually. So yeah, you can see all the eggs. Larvae and pupa, you can see the queen in there for big gaster. Sticking out. So yeah, I'll take that light off them though. It actually works really good, that magnifying glass. As you can see, it's blurry now. I need some magnifying glass so I can actually focus it. That's pretty cool. See, Anne's going through the tubes. Whatnot. Right into the outworld. So, yeah. And uh, here are the old, uh, some of the old nests. And uh, one new nest from Ace Australia. And here are the old ant kits. On some old test tubes. And there are the old colonies there. The new colonies. As you can see, I have 30 queens I just recently caught, plus my other queens there, all of them in sapphic tubes, some with outworlds, other ones there, and of course my Lassius now, that are inside the ant kit, or ant uh, Australia, size 1, and that's when I move them out of right here, the size 2 ant kit, as you can see it's very dirty. So I'm going to try to clean that up. And this one I have my Tetramorum in there. So I'm going to clean those up right now and uh, throw another colony in there. Because uh, my Tetramoriums need to expand. They're getting huge. So yeah.